Now I've partnered with LastPass to bring you guys this video. LastPass relieves the trouble of looking for passwords and anxiety around getting locked out of accounts. You can have all your passwords secured in one place and never have to memorize them again. Getting started with LastPass is extremely simple. All you need to do is add LastPass extension to your web browser of choice, create an account with a single master password, and then begin adding the login information for your favorite websites. The service can even generate a unique and secure password for each website, so your information is more safe than ever before. You don't even have to type in your password, LastPass will autofill it for you. Now if you ever need to let someone else log into one of your accounts, you can easily and safely share passwords as well. The service can also store important documents such as your passport, credit cards, and driver's license for example. Another cool thing about LastPass is that it's also cross-platform with Android, iOS, and even Windows mobile devices, so all of your information will always stay in sync. Passwords are saved for your favorite websites as well as compatible apps. Best of all, you can add an extra layer of security by using the fingerprint scanner on your device. With LastPass, you don't have to write, remember, or reset passwords. They keep track of it all so you guys can stay sane. Put your passwords on autopilot with LastPass. If you guys want to check it out, make sure to click on the link below. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and we are back again taking a look at another awesome TV. But this time, we're going to be looking at LG's new 4K OLED Smart TV, the E7. I reviewed LG's E6 last year and since then I've been using it as my main TV in my home. I found that this year's model is more of a refresh than a complete overhaul. And to LG's credit, the E7 is a great place to start if you don't already own a really cool looking, super thin, gorgeous OLED TV like this. But I'm not really convinced that the 5K upgrade is worth it if you already own the LG E6. It's definitely designed to be modern, with the OLED film mounted onto glass with a ridiculous thinness of a few millimeters. The rear houses all the hardware, so it is thicker with its thickest point measuring at 2 inches. You can also mount this on the wall, which is a nice plus. Also on the bottom there is this built-in soundbar with Dolby Atmos built in. For those that didn't know, this technology delivers full surround audio experiences when implemented right. Unfortunately, the E7 falls short regarding the reproduction of audio coming from behind you. But somehow it manages to recreate sound placement well. As for the audio itself, it has good range and keeps its clarity even at higher volumes. The speaker works great on its own, I don't have any major complaints, but personally I would install a full surround sound system. For connections, we get 4 4K HDR capable HDMI ports, 3 USBs, we get antenna connections, a LAN port, we also get a digital audio port, headphone out, and an audio line out. Turning on the TV, we were greeted to one of the best, if not the best panels we have seen on the channel as of yet. Quality wise, it's similar to last year's E6 with a resolution of 4K, which is to say it's great. It is OLED, so we get true blacks that everyone wants, as well as improved color with the E7 reaching 99% of the DCI color space, compared to last year's 90%. It also now gets much brighter with peak levels hitting 1000 nits, once again, when compared to last year's 652 nits. It's a substantial difference. Even with its improved brightness, OLED panels are dimmer when compared to that of LCDs, but of course on an LCD, you don't get those true blacks. There's also great uniformity across the panel. I haven't noticed any color shift from my time of use. And of course, being an OLED panel, we get great viewing angles. With these picture improvements, we're finally able to say that HDR is a good home on OLED. Unfortunately, LG removed the 3D capabilities coming from the E6, which personally, I did not care too much about. The E7 does get an upgrade in its upscaling technology, so when comparing it to the E6, it adds more detail to HD pictures, as well as it enhances the upscaled image's overall crispiness and clarity. In game mode, you get a 60Hz refresh rate, which I found to be fine for first-person shooters and online gaming. With that said, it's obviously not going
way to compare to faster refresh rate and response time from gaming monitors. LG's OS 3.5, which is new this year, is now more polished. LG claims that it's up to 40% quicker. Now, I don't know how accurate that number really is, but it is definitely snappier. It comes with one remote and it's feature packed. It has a pointer and even a microphone to make searching easy. There are also pre-programmed buttons that launch apps like Netflix and even a scroll wheel that makes navigation easy. The overall design hasn't really changed much from the E6. It brings many improvements to the E6 that make this year's model a compelling buy. The improved brightness and image processing make this a serious competitor against the top-end LCD TVs on the market. But that pretty much wraps up my review of LG's new OLED E7 Smart TV. If you guys want to check it out, I'll drop a link to it down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you didn't, feel free to dislike. Honestly guys, if you haven't seen a TV like this before, then you are missing out. It's definitely worth checking out. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Ed from TechSource. I will see you in the next one.